In this video, we're going to show you how to set up a recurring rule. When you have an income or expense that's the same amount each month, instead of manually entering it in, you can set up a recurring rule so the system automatically enters it in for you from now and into the future. We have a laundry income row. Let's set up a recurring rule for it. You want to click on the green button with the white arrow next to the name. We have the row recurring rule. You want to click on add on the right. You want to enter in the amount. I'll say that this is $50. Then you want to select the due date. I'll select the first. And down here you want to select when the recurring rule should start. I'll select April 1st. Right next to it you want to select the specific months that you want the amount to appear. So you basically just check and uncheck when you want the amount to appear. I want it for all months, so I'll click Save. Down here we can see it's going to start in April as indicated the starting date, and we can see it goes forward into the next year. So I'll click Save. Okay, so now we can see under April we have that $50 amount, and if we go into the future we can see $50 is recorded for us as well. If you want to see more details, you simply just click on this green button again, click on the blue arrow next to recurring rule, and we can see it starts from April 1st. Frequency is January to December, and the amount is $50. You can cancel the rule at any time if you feel like you no longer need it, and you can also edit the rule if you need to change the amount or the frequency. You would do the same steps for setting up a recurring role for an expense. You'd simply click on the green button with the white arrow next to the name where it says recurring rule. You want to click on add and then enter in the amount, select the due date, select the start date for the recurring rule, and then select the months and then save. Okay so now we can see we set up the recurring rule on this loan expense row for 800. And again, you click on the green button with the white arrow and the blue arrow next to recurring rule to see more details. And you can also cancel the rule or edit the rule. 